My name is Mrs. Young. I like to make videos to teach you new things and to help you remember the things you already know. I'm glad you're here today. Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing great. Today is Tuesday, March 19th in the year 2024. So if we look at our calendar, we are on Tuesday, March 19th in the year 2024. We have finished two full weeks of March and we are on the third week of March. We have a little bit more of this week to go and then one more full week and one day. And that last day is Sunday, the 31st is Easter Sunday. So for those of you who celebrate Easter, you might be looking forward to having a nice meal with your family, Easter Sunday meal, going to church, maybe getting an Easter basket with some chocolate and some Easter candy inside. That's always fun. Today, like I said, is March 19th, and in the sports world, something is starting today, and that is called March Madness. And what that means is there are 68 college basketball teams that are going to play each other. And they're split up. And once a whole bunch of teams are on one side and a whole bunch of teams are on another side. And one by one, the teams play each other and they get eliminated until they narrow it down to the final four. And then those teams play each other and then they announce the big winner. So March Madness, all about basketball and it ha it's like I said it's starting today. Um, many of my friends are in Special Olympics and I wanted to shout out to a couple of my special friends. Robert who is in a bowling league for Special Olympics and James who is on a basketball team for Special Olympics. So for many of you who are playing basketball in Special Olympics, this is also a time of the year where you're getting ready for your big tournaments. Our lesson today is going to be, can you guess, all about basketball. Are you ready? Here we go. Basketball is a fun, fast-paced game. It can be played indoors or outdoors, and all you really need is a ball and a hoop. A basketball is round, orange, and bouncy, which is perfect for dribbling and shooting. The court is a rectangular area with a hoop at each end. There are lines painted on the court that mark different zones. One important line is called the free throw line. Players wear comfortable clothes that are easy to run and jump in and sneakers with good support. Professional players wear jerseys with numbers on them. There are five players from each team on the court at a time, but there are also substitutes who can swap in and out during the game. The players can only move the ball if they bounce it on the ground, which is called dribbling. Once they stop bouncing or dribbling the ball, they have to pass it or try to shoot it into the basket. The players throw the ball toward the hoop to score points. If a player shoots the ball from inside or outside certain lines on the court and makes it into the basket, it is worth two or three points. If a player pushes or hits another player, it is called a foul. If that happens, the other team gets the ball. And the team with the most points at the end of the game wins. There are many amazing basketball players. Some famous names you might have heard of are Michael Jordan and LeBron James, who are both considered superstars. Basketball is a great way to get exercise, have fun with friends, and learn teamwork. So grab a ball, find a hoop, and give it a try. Okay, guys, so I hope that you learned some things about basketball today. And before we go, I wanted to mention one more thing. The beginning of our lesson, we talked about the Special Olympics. And the Special Olympics athletes have an oath, and that oath is, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. So what that means is, don't be afraid to try something new. It's okay that if you, if you don't do it right the first time, or if it's okay if you don't win, or things don't exactly go right, the most important thing is that you are brave enough to give it a try. Okay, guys? 
So I hope that you have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next Tuesday in our next video. Bye.